It's an immensely frustrating thing that you'll immediately fail at. And I, I, I uh, you know, you could talk to a psychologist to figure out why I've drawn to that. Mostly you're challenging yourself, really. Um, and you're in the moment. Um, I actually think that's what I like about pinball. So all my life's troubles, and there's plenty of those out here, when you pull the plunger and, you're, and you really get into a game for, for 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever, you're, you have to be here now to be chasing that ball and, and, and do well. So it kind of is like zen. Something that just, I guess, naturally I gravitated to. Um, it's, it's fun. I mean, I, I can't explain why I love it so much outside of playing the game. It's, it's, it's self-satisfying to me. I, I just, I enjoy it. Pinball. No matter how old the machine or how new the machine is completely unpredictable, it's tactile, it's real. When you're playing multiplayer with other friends, those are real people standing next to you that you're battling. Just, uh, you can't beat it. You can't match it. And it's just a whole subculture of people that, you know, maybe you would never have ever hang out with that guy for whatever reason, no matter who you are. But the camaraderie within the community is amazing. It, it truly is. I've never heard a pinball player ask another pinball player, what do you do in real life? I've never had that, I heard that. And if you go to a social ga gala, you know, everybody wants to know what you do because that's, they're trying to figure out how to make that work to their advantage. But here it's just pinball. And I think that is part of the culture is that everybody is, they're just real people. And whether they come from the highest falutin or the lowest whatever you want to say, they all love pinball. You put them in the right environment and friendships and camaraderie grows. I mean, it really is something special. Things go uh, into like serious, like playoffs and farther. That's when people start to get a little more competitive. They start to get a little more in their head, which is which is kind of interesting. Some of the guys that are in our league, they've played pinball before, never like this, and they have become some of the best players. And it, it like anything, is practice. Everyone says that they're super positive, right. stuff like that. But you know when someone's like creeping up on busting your score, you're just like, you, just, you, just, you, better, you just better freaking drain. When they drain, you're just like, okay, I'm gonna celebrate in a second. Be like, ah, oh, tough break, dude. All right, good. Good job. You just turn around and give one of these really quick. <laughs> Chug a beer. <laughs> you're bringing each other on. Hell no. I want to beat everybody every time I play, and I'm wishing hateful stuff on my friends. <laughs> but when the game's over, I will shake their hand and, you know, wish them good luck if they want, or you know, drink another shot if I lose. I would never think in my head, oh, I've got these people beat easy. No. It's a serious matter. I think that, that, that whole idea that anybody can beat anybody is also something that unifies us. You know, Pinball almost died. Stern was the last company, and we were actually told that there's going to be no more Pinball games, and all of us were like, oh, all our games are worth three times as much now. The mob was running them as payout machines, or they were gambling with them, and uh, they just decided, I guess it had to be in the 
50, late fifties that they're just going to ban straight up ban pinball, and it was banned for years. What it all boiled down to is they thought this was like a, a game of luck. You have no control. I know Mayor LaGuardia in New York City is smashing hundreds of pinball machines with a hammer. They was associated with pinball with like the bad guys hanging out, smoking James Dean, smoking around motorcycle gangs. I don't know. It was, it was all silly, but they kind of had like this tough guy thing. If you play pinball, you're like, yeah, punk. Yeah, if you see those old pictures of the mayor just put sledgehammering to him, he's like, no, oh, man, it's, it, it's sad. But they had to have a whole commission that went all the way up to the Supreme Court. Roger Sharp, master pinball player, giant freaking mustachioed pinball player, at the time was invited out to, uh, to the court case in New York. And uh, they brought in a machine that he didn't know they were bringing in, and the judge sat next to him, and then he started playing the machine. And he would call a shot and say, okay, I'm going to hit that spinner. He would catch the ball and hit the spinner. And we'd come back and he caught it again and he'd say, I'm going to hit that target. And he would hit it. And about four or five shots in, this judge actually said, well, this is a game of skill. And, and it is. He proved him wrong, man. He just, he did it. He controlled the ball, made it shots, and that's, that's all you need to do in pinball. And, like, without that, who knows what would be happening right now. I think we are in a middle resurgence, almost a golden era again because of the technology and the machines. They just get better and better and, and more fun and more, more gadgets and more things are happening. Seeing a total resurgence of what's happening in the pinball community is amazing. We are on the beginning of a huge cusp. And I think we just all, we're proud of being pinball nerds, you know? So it just unites us and, and gives us a common language. It is more than just playing pinball. It is just your night out. Night out with your buddies and whether they're buddies at the start, they're gonna be the buddies at the end of 10 weeks. I say just get out and play pinball, go to a place, let's try it and make a note. I said, man, let's, let's go try it. It might be fun and be surprised how cool it is and what a great time it might be. It out because it, most leagues will let you play as a guest. It, you get your tone what I don't want to invest 10 weeks, I get it, but get to see who the people are there, get to see the machine and the quality and just the atmosphere where you're playing. And if you like it, stay. Just keep growing, keep sharing this. If we don't share it, then it's just going to be this group of people forever just stuck playing these games. So uh, we need some fresh blood, some fresh meat in here to take their money during tournaments. Guys, girls, let's go. Uh, yeah, play some pinball.